Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Adobe Photoshop video, I'll be showing you how to use the Adobe Exchange, where you'll find thousands of plugins and filters, things like that, that you can use right inside of Photoshop, including quite a few that are free. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and, of course, share with your friends. Also, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And if you want to take a fast track to learning Photoshop, look at my complete training and you'll find the link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. If you haven't seen my YouTube channel, make sure you take a look. I have hundreds of videos here, mostly about Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and Corel Draw. But we're talking about the Adobe Exchange, which is right there on that tab. Now you'll find this at adobeexchange.com. I'll put a link for this right in the description so it's easy to get to. To find the Photoshop specific filters, a couple things you need to do. First, click where it says Creative Cloud. This goes into the Creative Cloud part of the Exchange. And you also need to make sure that your Creative Cloud program right here is syncing. Now you can check that. Go to the Assets section and Files, right there, Asset and Files, and take a look at the bottom down here. If you're not currently syncing, there'll be a warning right there that you're not syncing. Just go ahead and click on that to make sure that it's syncing. Very important because everything here in the Exchange is run through the Creative Cloud. Okay, so we're here on the Creative Cloud Exchange. Let's scroll down a little bit here. On the left-hand side, you can come in and focus on a specific product. Let's take a look at Photoshop. There we go. And as you can see up here, there are 1,035 extensions in here. Just tons and tons of extensions. Now, all of your extensions, right now, these are sorted by the most recent, so the newest extension is on top. You'll find ratings right there, a bit about the extension here. You can actually go to the extension to download right there by clicking on that link. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll find the price for that. Some of these are relatively inexpensive, like this one. Some are rather expensive, like we have over here, 75 bucks. There are, though, quite a few that are free. There's a free one right there. For instance, here's a free one. There's a free one. Let's take a look at easily finding all that free stuff. Just scroll down, and right here, little search box. So let's just type in free and click the magnifying glass. There we go. And we get all the free stuff. Now, be careful about this. Some of these still aren't free, like right there, $29. The reason why this is showing up in this list is because it says free right there in the description. So that's confusing the search functions. Just keep an eye on that. Most of these, though, will be free. And there's a lot of great stuff in here. A little demo here of a blending tool, a little gradient tool. Here's an iStock plugin to get your Getty images right from iStock. It'll put that right inside of Photoshop for you. A little thing for making planets and space shots, kind of fun. This is a fun one here, a little retro effects. I know a lot of you probably use Shutterstock for images, and here's a Shutterstock tool. Puts that Shutterstock selection tool right inside of Photoshop for you. Now, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you've probably seen that I use a website called Pixabay a lot. There it is, Pixabay. I use this a lot for finding free images that people can easily download to follow along with my training. And Pixabay here has a nice little tool that fits right inside of Photoshop. We'll take a look at how that works. But you can see here, there are quite a few of these. Lots of good ratings on a lot of this stuff. I'd probably leave that one alone. That's very low rating. But a lot of good stuff. Some of these, again, make sure you take a look because they may not be actually free. Most of these, if you do that free search, will be free actions, free plugins, free filters. A lot of great stuff. Hand drawn patterns, just some free graphics for you, 30 free graphics right in there. Okay, let's take a look at how you do this. Now, again, when you are working with the extension, make sure that you double check your Creative Cloud to make sure that it is currently syncing. And if it is, then everything is fine. All you have to do is just click on the link right there. This takes you into the page here for that particular extension. Now, if I've already acquired it, it's right down there. You can then go to your extension here, your exchange, 
and make sure that it has been acquired. Now, when it does this, and if you have your file syncing turned on, that's the important part right there, make sure your file syncing is turned on. If you're unsure about that, just click on this for more information about how to run that. But if that is all taken care of, and that's easy to do, then this will automatically be installed for you. Exchange will automatically download it. You'll see a little warning or a little, little dialog box that has been downloaded and installed. And then the next time you open up Photoshop, it's going to be there ready for you to use. Now where it's sitting inside of Photoshop will differ depending upon the plugin, filter, or whatever. This particular one shows up in the exchange. And I'll show you where that is. You can see right here where to find it. Window extension and then Pixabay right from here from the exchange folder right there, my exchange. Okay, let's see how that works. Go over here. So I've already installed that one and go up to window and you'll find your extensions right there. So this one installed in this location. Sometimes again they'll install under filters. Sometimes they may install over here under automate, different places. Like here's where I have my ON1 effects is installed here. My Nick collection is installed right over here. HDR Effect Pro it's installed right there. So it's installed under automate. On the Pixabay, it installed over here under extensions. Okay, click on that. This will then bring that up. And there we go. It just pops in as a nice little panel here. And you can then search through this. Now, the reason I like Pixabay is that all of these are common licenses. They're, they're copyright free, no royalties need to be paid. You don't have to be, be giving anybody credit for any of this kind of stuff, although I always do. It's just a nice thing to do but it's all free and available and easy to use for private, public, or commercial use. Now you search this, there's a search box right there. Kind of hard to see that possibly. We can go ahead and search right there. Let's just type in butterfly and make sure I spell that correctly. There we go. And I'll hit the enter key. It'll do a search and it brings up a whole bunch of butterflies in here. If I went down far enough I could find that particular picture that I used over here. This is a, a demo I did oh last year about using the pen tool to make selections. But I grabbed that picture from the Pixabay. Now when you find a picture you like like this a nice clean one right there. Click on the picture. Down here you can see who the author is. This is actually from the Pixels website. You can click where it says little 1920p. You can choose what resolution you want to download this as. You also can open it as a new layer or a clipping mask or a new file. Let's do this as a new layer. Click on that and then click on download and it downloads that as you can see here right into my open file as a new layer in the open file. Now how, how cool is that? It comes in right there right for you right inside your working project. A couple of little things over here. Little button right there. Click on that. You can narrow this down to photos or illustrations, orientation, what order it is popular or latest, editor's choice, on or off. You have some additional options in there. Now when you, I close this down, it sits right here as a little button inside of my panels. Again, this is just one example of these free plugins and free filter sets, free images that you can get over here on the Adobe Exchange. Great place to go and look for stuff. Again, a lot of free stuff here. There's a lot of stuff that, that costs, obviously, but it's not that expensive. But it's a great resource to find different items, different tools to expand your use of Photoshop. And you should take a while, take a look at this and see what's available here and see what you can use to really make working with Photoshop a lot more fun and a lot easier. So there you go. Let's just go back here to the beginning page right there. Again, it's adobeexchange.com. I'll put a link for that in the description. And when you're here, the easy way to do this is just go to the Creative Cloud and then do a search right here or narrow down by the product you want to be looking for right there, Photoshop. So there it is. That's how to use the Adobe Exchange to find lots of new tools and features to add into your Photoshop program. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. 
You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.